Got it? Yep. Maybe they'll go to bite. <laughs> Is he a 10 pounder at least? He might be 10. 15. He's swimming up river, that's a halfway decent sign. Ah, look at that. That's awesome. Good old deal. Not exactly what we're after, but it'll work. Well, maybe they'll go to bite. That's not too bad for first one of the day. What do you think it weighs? Oh, he'll go 10 ish. Hey buddy, thank you. Nothing too bad for the first one, was it? <laughs> no way, I'm Lots of fun. You feel pretty good or is he gonna be another 12 pounder? 12. 15 maybe. He's a fish. He's a fish. Did he come off? Did he come off? Nah, he's, nah, he's still on there. He's just swimming to the boat. Swimming up river. <laughs> Well, that is cool. Making noise. Well, first fish of the day. Awesome. Look at that hook. He buried that hook on the top <laughs> he of the head. He did, didn't he? That's gonna be tough. I don't know how he got that in there. Went right through the head, didn't it? Yeah. See any pliers laying around? There they are. His eye, oh, he's got an eye missing. Yep. How did he get that in there? Got a mess coming up right there. There we go. All right, guys. Today we're on the Tennessee River with uh, BJ Ayers. He's the owner of the Clear Original Clear Boards, and we're pulling planer boards today to catch blue cats.
a lot of fun a lot of fun fellas catching these fish on these planter boards is is awesome we're fishing in about uh, 60 foot deep with some skipjack that's not exactly what we're looking for but uh, we're going to take it as the first one and hopefully they get bigger throughout the day. See, we got a mess coming up. Was it that? Yeah, right back out where the boards are now. Oh, I don't think we're going to yeah. miss it either. Bye, buddy. <laughs> All right. Hang tight, guys. We'll get back to you on the next one. All right, guys, we're going to show you how to deploy these boards. Uh, right now, we're just going to put a piece of skipjack on it and drop it directly to the bottom. Let the whole weight just hit the bottom. Uh, reel your, your rod tip to the water and then give it two or three cranks and then we'll put the board on. And BJ will show you how to do that just here in a second. Hey, folks, as you can see, we've got the two rights out. Uh, everything's sort of gaining traction with the trolling motor to get set out and I just put a uh, uh, another one out for this side of the boat so like Steve said let it hit the bottom I like to pull up on it then rod rod tip to the water then crank it two or three turns of course this is a right side looking forward rods to the front of the board after you do this a couple of times it becomes second nature. You'll go in first with the swivel, the barrel swivel, and then fishing an eight ounce weight, you're gonna want the tension that's forward, you want it back, that adds tension. Eight ounces is a lot, not to mention the bait, and put it all the way back in the pad. Trust me, these fish will release it, won't be an issue. And set it down in the water, and let it out. And I tell you, Something I've learned over the years with these planter boards, and this is me, there's a lot of guys that do this different. Uh, what's cool about monster rod holders, you've got two positions. And this position in the red puts the rod tip lower, in the black puts it higher. What's great about that with planter boards, your furthest one away from the boat, this one here in the back, I like to put it in the straight up position, this one in that other position. And what that's going to do is give you like a what we call a stair step pattern. If that board in the back fish hits it and it releases, it'll go to the back and won't be in the way of this rod, vice versa. So that'll that'll help out a bunch. There's so many different ways to do that. That's what I found works the best. And keep in mind too, guys, that you need your boat in motion to be able to present these baits or to put them out. The boat has to be going. I like to put it like say 0.3 to 0.5 mile an hour and just keep it at that speed as you're deploying the boards. All right, we've set. Now we're keeping a tight little group pattern because we're on a ledge. And what we got here, maybe 60 feet in between the yeah, two? Yeah, yeah, that's about right. And now we just uh, continue at our 0.3 to 0.5 mile an hour. Yeah, you know, the, the thing you gotta keep in mind, like Steve said, the boat's got to be moving for a planter board to work. A planter board will not work, and I don't care if it's moving at 0.3 on these digital remotes or 1.5. Once everything gets tightened up, it will fall into pattern. Mm -hmm. That may take 20 yards, 50 yards. So when you first get the boards, some people may get frustrated that it's not out there. Give it some time. It'll take you know 20 yeah. to 50 yards before it's out there and going on this ledge and like see where these two are have been out for the longest so they're already separated they're ready to go these here are just now starting to work they're just now starting to pull out that's a waiting game Little action. 
BJ, I don't know if you're aware of it or not, but when you're catching these fish, and it might be the same with stripers, when you catch these fish in real deep water, mm -hmm. just ease them up. <clears throat> we're allowed to see some bubbles out here in a minute where they have to decompress. Really? <clears throat> yeah, if not, when you're going back in, they just float and they won't ever be able to get back down to the bottom. Ah. Another next he was just had that mouth open twisting on it. We should be able to build that team. Phoenix woke him up, didn't it? Yeah. Another small one? Ah. I finally just now got caught up with him. Well, it's been a rough day, a rough couple days. Um, we're fortunate to get these little thunders. Yeah, he swims a little bit here and he has to take off his little pool. Things look like a little more active than the other one. So He's not. He's about smaller. Six. Yeah, it's a blue cat. About the same size that other one. <laughs> I know they ain't big guys, but it just shows you what these boards can do for you. They just spread them out and give you a more, more uh, surface area to fish. Action. <laughs> it's action. Yes, it is. Can't really complain when on a tough day like today. All right. Hey guys, down here on the Tennessee River, and we are going to be fishing for the blue cats with planer boards. Uh, I've been using these planer boards for about a year. I found them on the internet. Uh, some of the greatest boards I've found. Uh, it's the original clear board. And I'm with BJ Ayers today. BJ is the owner. BJ, tell, tell the guys what they expect when they receive your product. Yeah, uh, thanks Steve. This is the new box packaging. Uh, if you order them online or you go by the shop somewhere, uh, this is the way they'll come. And you'll get the two boards and there'll be a packet. In the packet will be the rod stem and the uh, stainless steel split rings and the swivels. And what you'll do, I sort of figured everybody carries a Phillips head screwdriver in their boat. And, um, or you can put them together after you receive them at home. But you'll have one washer on one side of the screw, the Teflon washer. Then you'll put another washer on and put the rod on. That's simple enough. Yeah, and what you uh, 
what you do, you want the steel ring to be up and down. That puts the release clip horizontal to the water. That's imperative. You don't want to turn it the other way. You want the release clip to be horizontal to the water. Then you'll just take a split ring, just like an old key ring, and put it on, slide it on, where it goes in the hole. And then you'll take your swivel, put it on the key ring, and you're ready to fish. Of course, in the box, you've got a right and a left, a port and a starboard, and you get one pair per purchase in the board. Now it's very them, simple. Tell them how they can tell the right from left, because I, I had that issue when I first started too. Okay. Well, I always like to tell people at the shows and all the questions I get asked every week, uh, especially with the catfishing. This is sort of new to catfishing. Picture me and Steve in the boat right now. You want the rod to the front of the boat. So this is going to be the left. Then the other board would be the right. And all you got to do is pretend you're sitting in the driver's seat of the boat going forward. The rod is to the front of the boat. That puts it to the left, the other one to the right. You know, there's a lot of guys that start using this and get frustrated. Uh, people, uh, I get this question every week. I've put them on backwards. Just remember the rod is to the front of the board and that tells you your direction. Um, it, it's simple and after, it's just like any new thing that comes out, after you use it a couple of times, you get the, you get yeah. the hang of it. Yeah. And it's second nature. It's like, uh, like anything. Well, I, myself, I mean, I'm a simple fisherman and I reluctantly didn't try these for the longest time because I thought it was gonna be too big of a pain in the rear to do them. But once I caught that first 70 pound fish last year on this board, I was hooked and it wasn't it wasn't such a pain in the butt to do then yeah. so uh, I, I think that these are the best boards for the way I fish guys because I fish with eight ounce weights in really really deep water for these blue cats and it has such a buoyancy with this uh, foam up here it'll hold an eight ounce sinker and a, and a two pound piece of skipjack and and pull in 70 foot of water and still spread at the same time very lightweight I've picked up some other boards before and felt the weight, but this is, have you ever got a weight on these boards? It's like seven ounces, seven ounces. the large board, and the mediums are right at five ounces. It's it's very light. That's sort of the, been my niche with a, is a light planer board. You can still fish a, a planer board and not have that weight. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the fight of the fish, you know, and, and not be dragging along all that extra weight. Right. And, and like you said, what I've seen, you know, Steve, when I designed this board, I had no idea a guy like you would fish an eight ounce sinker with this board <laughs> and I mean it just blew me away the first time I seen it and what I've seen uh, yesterday and and what we've done today it's incredible mm -hmm. you know it's um, it's pretty neat and I've it's just uh, for the catfish guys it's just a little something different in your arsenal you know if something ain't working or you can always stick a planter board and the, the best thing about it you're just getting that bait away from the boat right. and it makes a difference it really does well it spreads out a lot of the guys that do the, the suspend drifting uh, over over the years they're just kind of limited to, a, to a, an eight foot wide boat now if, they're, if you've got current sometimes you can drift the boat sideways yep. but this allows you and like I say I don't know how I've, drift fish for these many years without these boards before so uh, and, and I won't you know it they're not for everyday use guys they're like really when it's like yesterday we just really struggled because of the wind and the wind's hard because it's blowing your boat you've constantly got to have tension on this yeah uh, and movement and and like I like point three to point five I mean I can go point four to point seven at times but I really like uh, the slower and, and they really spread at a, at a slow rate all yeah, right. yeah. Tension means traction, and you know, any time this thing is there's it's being pulled by tension, it's tracking. You know, it may go out sixty feet or seventy five or eighty feet from the boat, and then that tension stop, but it's going to sit there. Mm -hmm. And then as it tightens up, it goes out a little further, and that's that's been the whole thing. Planter boards are awesome. Yeah, and it's almost like a bobber too, you know. It's a directional bobber. Yeah. That's all it is. It's a directional bobber. All right, guys, that's about all the time we have for today. Uh, BJ has to head back towards his home state of Virginia, so we're going to wrap it up. Uh, the fishing wasn't as great as we thought it was going to be. 
Uh, but BJ got to come out today and experience his boards in, in the catfishing realm. So, what do you think about the technique we're using today? Uh, it, it's awesome. It's uh... I'd have never dreamed that an eight ounce sinker could be pulled behind this planter board, but it's awesome. And I had so much fun. I mean, and I learned so much. And thank you. It, well, thank it was you for awesome. Out. Uh, I it was had a awesome. great time. We'll have to get out again where I can put you on a bigger fish next time. <laughs> I do feel bad about that, but that's fishing, guys. Uh, we can't control how, how the size they're going to be. Uh, but uh, again, thanks for stopping by and watching our videos. BJ, tell them where you can get these boards at if you'd like to, if they like uh, to order them. There's a couple different ways to order them. You can go on TrophyRidgePlanterBoards.com and DoubleXTackle.com and order them. And maybe that one of your shops around your lake has got them stocked. But slowly growing to get in a lot of those shops. Well, good deal. Well, thanks again. Yep. I appreciate it. And Thank uh, you. we'll see you guys on the thanks next one. Thanks for watching. One.